I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill, and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape, and that's where I thought I'd find him. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided to polite. Those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. You ain't beating me. James, who worked in the stable. God damn you. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Uh. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. The rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Dangerous, desperate individuals. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the others. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. You can't beat the innocents! I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was touched. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. 
One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? No. You're dead! If Daddy had lived to see Alfred Nobel's explosive invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous as there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Show Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily pushed. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. bullet could have turned I freely admit my plan of attack was not just moronic but clearly It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder, a way into the mine from the opposite side. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes... <sighs> no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. 
Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. I was determined not to give up, however. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. You ain't and I had made it my mission to settle that spirit from hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator, or climb the ladder. I wanted to use the element of surprise. Plus, I figured I could use the exercise. I was warmed up already, so what the hell. Taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Oh, medieval 
on your ass! and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter.